potassium sparing diuretics are weak diuretics with limited diuretic efficacy. There are two groups of potassium sparing diuretics aldosterone antagonists and sodium channel blockers. Potassium sparing diuretics do not share a common chemical structure except for the steroid backbone of the aldosterone antagonist. Loop and thiazide diuretics can cause potassium loss in the body, hypokalemia. Potassium sparing diuretics can be co prescribed with loop and thiazide diuretics to reduce hypokalemia. Potassium sparing diuretics act on the collecting tubule and the collecting ducts of the nephron. Reabsorption of sodium and chloride in the collecting tubule is relatively small. On the luminal membrane, the transporters involved are sodium channels, and potassium channels. On the bustolateral membrane, there is the sodium-potassium ATPase. In the collecting tubule, sodium enters the cell through the sodium channels present on the luminal membrane. The sodium-potassium ATPase drives active sodium reabsorption by moving free sodium ions across the basolateral membrane into the interstitium in exchange for two potassium ions. Potassium is secreted into the lumen through the potassium channel to balance the lack of positive sodium ions. Sodium channel blockers directly block luminal sodium channels. This reduces sodium transport through the cell and decreases the driving force for potassium secretion. Aldosterone antagonists competitively inhibit intracellular aldosterone receptors. This results in reduced number of luminal sodium channels and basolateral sodium potassium ATPase. The overall effect of both groups of potassium sparing diuretics is similar. They reduce sodium reabsorption, which decreases the driving force for potassium secretion, which then reduces potassium loss and causes less hypokalemia.